How's it going everybody? Uh, with this second tutorial, I'm actually going to implement a uh, actual smart pointer. Uh, see my first video about smart pointers um, on my channel. Okay, so we're actually going to implement one. Here, to actually have a smart pointer, we need some other uh, structures. Um, so here, I'm going to have a reference counter. Well, what this does basically is count the number of variables that actually have a reference to a particular, um, um, I don't know, a particular smart pointer. So for example, let's say we had something like this, where we have pointer A, okay, and it's some object, and we have pointer B, but that's actually going to be equal to A. Here, the total number of reference count is going to be 2. Likewise, if we had pointer um, C is equal to B, there's a total of 3 uh, reference counts um, available now. So what this means and what why this is important is because we don't want to delete um, an, a particular point. We don't want to delete A when there's two more references to A because if we do that we actually delete the only copy of A and when we go to re um, uh, use that object it will no longer be available in memory and then you, your program will crash because there is not an actual memory location that you're trying to reference so that's why this class is important and how we're going to incorporate that to our smart pointer is basically this. We're going to have a template class, okay, that's going to point to any type of data that we want, our reference counter object. And here, this is a simple constructor without any arguments. So we're going to set, create a new reference counter, and we're going to increase the count to one. Likewise, we have a second type of constructor if you don't want to use this one. Here, it, it accepts an actual variable so like so and we take this variable and set it initialize it to data so now data is equal to argument that we passed over here um, and now we are gonna allocate a new reference counter and increase its size okay and remember these two are only for creation of a new reference counter here these two functions these two um these two methods. One is a copy constructor and another is an assignment operator. What this does is copy um, a pre-existing smart pointer and increase the number of references to it just like when we were doing up here when I was showing you. And here is the actual assignment operator that will be called when we say um, smart pointer B is equal to smart pointer A. That's what happens. Okay, we use this very, this, um, oops, sorry, yeah, this if statement right here is very important. What that does is it prevents a smart pointer to assigning itself to itself. We don't want to do that. And so we also want to decrease the count. And if the count is zero, we delete the current instance of the data and the reference and then we carry on to assign it a new set of data points all right and it returns um, the actual object itself not the reference but itself to assign it to the other it's kind of complicated but just trust me it works <laughs> um, okay now this is where the reference counting comes in place when the variable, when the smart pointer goes out of scope, the constructor is called. But it's only going to delete the memory that it's holding if and only if the, um, the reference count is decreased to zero. So nobody has reference to this particular object. And then it goes ahead and deletes it. And here I just had a little string saying we cleaned up the memory to show that it's working. And these two are important if you want to be able to 
use the smart pointer as a pointer even though it's not actually a pointer um, so basically it allows the same functionality as having let's say object pointer b the new object this is a made up object so and so therefore b is this it, it allows this functionality so whereas if we had our pointer of type object or b okay it's not actually b is not actually no i'm sorry let's call this one let's call this one c c here is not actually a a pointer but after we create it saying new objects after we create it we can now use c like this because whenever we, the compiler sees this it comes over here and says oh i'm just going to return this data over here which is actual the point data that we're holding so notice how the smart pointer is not actually a pointer but because we have this operator defined it substitutes this and returns the pointer that we're referencing so that's what's going on there and likewise for here okay so let's save that and here I have my uh, screen I'm sorry my actual application we're not going to go into detail to what's going on there but I just want to demonstrate the concept here and its usage so our main method we just come over here and start testing out our pointer okay so we create a new pointer and we print out the data okay and the data comes up here execute blah 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 and here we're going to enter another scope okay and we're going to create a new variable but it's going to be assigned the value up here and executes it and prints out to show you that it's the same thing but as soon as it exits it deletes g's destructor is called and finally b still has a reference to the object and when this uh, method exits the constructor is called and memory is finally released watch when i execute this program there should be only one uh, phrase of saying clean up memory despite the fact that there is two reference counts so i'm um, executing the method i'm sorry executing the program it's compiling i have a lot of things going on here so Okay, so when the program executes, it comes over here, executes A, shows what the values are, and here it assigned it to B to G, print out the value. I notice it still has A still has the sorry, P still has the same value, and memory cleanup is called only once, despite the fact that there was two references. So that's that. Now you know how to write smart pointers. Thank you.